So I got an email recently asking me yet another common question, which is where do I get legal artwork for laser engraving? And I do this all the time. I don't even think about it. So I thought it would be prudent in this video to show you the tools I use, how I use them, what I get out of them and how you can do it too. So let's get started. Hey, it's Steve and welcome back. Now I have an American friend, he's ex-military, retired, very patriotic guy, and I wanna put a little project together for him and send it to him. Now the project isn't important, What's important is the artwork that I want to use to engrave on it. And more importantly, the artwork is all legal. So I'm going to show you where I find that artwork, how I assemble it, put it into Lightburn and ultimately engrave it. And that's the context. So let's get going with the design. Now I mentioned that I moved to Kittle about four months ago to do all of my design work. And I'm going to use it in this video and I'll show you basically how easy it will be to not only find an image, but put images together and create the, the project that I want to create. Now there are there are a few versions of, of Kittle. There's certainly the pro version, which I have. There's also one above that. And there's the free version, which is, which is the one you're probably going to start with. And in this video, everything I'm going to show you, you can do also with the free version. So keep that in mind and uh, we'll get started here. All right, now the first thing I'm gonna do is create a new project and it's as simple as clicking this button up here and then picking the size of the canvas I wanna work with. I'll just start with a big one. So now I have a blank canvas and I'm going to start inserting my, my design on it. So I'll go over here to the design elements and I'll search, let me expand this. I want really illustrations is what I want to focus on here. So first thing I want is a US flag. And you can see as soon as I search, it went and found quite a few of them. I like this one, so I'll just click on it and it'll add it to my page. Then the next thing I want is an eagle. And it comes up with, as you can see, many, many, many eagles. Uh, I'll just find one here that's pretty simple. Uh, this one actually looks pretty, pretty ominous. So I'll pick him. All right. Uh, so now I have those two images on my canvas and the beauty of Kittle is everything is kind of a vector. So this could be just as simple as taking the image and, and doing that. So that's kind of the image I want. And now I'll just export this. And again, you can export these things as PNGs. Now, Kittle will automatically merge all of this stuff for you. You don't have to worry if it's color because your laser is obviously gonna, gonna convert these to grayscale. Now, one thing I do know uh, regarding this image, particularly the flag, is the blue and the red on my laser will come out very similar in shade. So what I'm gonna do is darken this blue up a little bit and make it look unusually dark. And again, in Kittle, you can do that. If I wanted to change the, the color of the beak of the bird, I could just go up and edit the orange there. And I'm happy with that. So I'll just do an export to PNG, store it on my machine. It actually just downloaded it to my computer. And next thing I'm gonna do is pop this into uh, Lightburn and uh, set it up for engraving. I have Lightburn up and running here, so I'll just import the image that I, I created in Kittle. I'll resize it uh, down to maybe 150 millimeters. Uh, this is really just a test because I'm ultimately going to put this on a, on a cutting board or something. So I'll drop it on there. Now, as far as settings, I'm going to use the uh, longer B1 that I had sitting here from, from the review I just did recently. So I'll use that. And the settings I'm going to use for that 40 watt laser, I'll go as fast as I can with a power of about, maximum power of about 27, minimum is zero because I'm doing grayscale and that's the settings. So if you have a different laser, you can scale accordingly. Uh, I'm gonna put this on a piece of MDF just to test it because MDF is easy to work with for engraving. So. That's it. I'll shoot it over to the laser and I'll bring back the result. All right, so I have the result back and it took maybe 10, 15 minutes to engrave this, but the result is fantastic. Uh, that's a testimony to the laser, but the actual creation of this image, Kittle made this so easy. 
Uh, and if I decided I wanted a different eagle, I could just drop it in there or maybe change the flag, rotate it, do something. Uh, super, super easy. So iterative kind of graphic design with Kittle uh, is a pretty compelling use of, of the application. All right, before I shut down here, I, I'll, I wanted to bring you back to Kittle to just kind of amplify this message of the, the vastness of the image library that Kittle provides. And I had a customer come to me uh, just recently and say, I need a whale engraved on a piece of acrylic. And uh, I wasn't sure where to get one. I could probably just grab one off of Google, but who knows if it's legal. So I went, came back to Kittle and I searched for whales. And I found just an unbelievable number of whales. So the, the, the selection here was, uh, it was harder to choose one as opposed to find one. There were just thousands of them. And that alone makes Kittle worth the, the, the price for the, for the pro version because all of these images are available to you if you have the, have the pro version. Uh, uh, still a large number if you have the free version, but it's not nearly as big, obviously. And uh, this applies to pretty much anything. If I search for something obscure like bananas, if I can spell bananas, uh, you can see you get just page after page after page of these. And again, you can just grab one of these things and drop it on your canvas and uh, start working. So wonderful tool, it, I love it and, and I'm gonna continue to use it just for this reason alone. Is there's always an image that I can pull from their library. So if you're a maker and you do a lot of imagery for laser engraving, you know, you want to compose something really quickly, get it to light burn and engrave it on a piece of material, then Kittle is an ideal tool. It's trivial to use. And I'm a total graphics design moron. So you saw I created the eagle on the flag and it looked pretty good if I do say so myself. And what made that easy and possible is that massive image library of completely licensed things. You don't have to worry about copyrights or any of that kind of stuff and you can find anything you ever want in there as far as I can tell. So I'd say go give it a try. There's a link in the description down below that isn't an affiliate link, so I'm not getting paid if you do sign up for Kittle. Uh, it's just me saying to you, I like Kittle and I use it all the time. And we'll wind down there, so get out there, make your world, and I'll see you next time.